Okay, a couple of weeks ago I posted this video about these cubes bouncing around on this cloth object and I kind of was challenging you to see if you could figure it out. And Somebody finally emailed me and you know, kind of guessed what I was up to because they couldn't figure it out. And sure enough, it's just an illusion. And I was going to do a tutorial on it once I figured out how to do it really well, but I never ha have been able to do it. And I haven't spent much time on it either. But So really what it is, these are rigid bodies, no doubt. And that is cloth without a doubt, but I can't find a way to get the cloth to hold an object. I've tried all kinds of different ways, increasing the mesh size dramatically, you know, adding vertex groups, whatever. It just it didn't seem to work. But it has the illusion of it bouncing on cloth. You know, you can see this thing working pretty well. So what happens is the cloth actually does hold the objects for a little while, but then they eventually fall through. And so what I have in here, if you look carefully, right underneath there's a second object, identical shaped object that I formed, right? And with it, this is, let me get my display keys up here. I'll take off that render, get the tool shelf, and let's see. Well, you can see it's in green. That's basically a rigid body as well. It's a static rigid body that's underneath it just a little bit, right? So, and then it becomes obvious when you look at it, you can see that when those are hitting, it's actually bouncing off that static plane that surface underneath it. So it's not really bouncing on cloth, you know, but it's the illusion of it bouncing on cloth. And maybe it threw some of you because, you know, computer graphics are really all about illusions in many ways. All right. So, but if I was to take this plane, say, and maybe move it to another layer real quick, <laughs> you know, it's going to have to recalculate it. Let's see. Oh, it's not recalculating it. Why? It should recalculate it. Like it doesn't know it's... Oh, that's interesting. It's like it doesn't know it's there. I mean, like it's... Oh, it's working, but the plane is gone. Huh, all right, I need to restart that simulation. So it should start restart on its own. Let me just refire like this, see if it does it. No, well, that's interesting in itself that that should even do that. All right, let's see. Let's go to the cache and clear the cache. Maybe that's its problem. No. I don't have any cache set on the thing. Well, that's that's really curious. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just take that plane and we'll delete it. Wow, let's see how smart it is. All right. So there you'll see when it comes back through, there they are, and they go right through in this case. Oh, but look at that. Even these effects are, well, they're kind of continuous. Well, I've had it so it sometimes, if you increase the density, the mesh dramatically, sometimes it'll hold those cubes, and I've had it so it drags the cloth way, way, way down, you know, but eventually it breaks through. You know? And I've tried it with different shape, size, all kinds of things like that, so... Uh, just in case you've been working on it and couldn't figure it out, well, okay, I can't either, all right? So uh, if I do, I'll post another tutorial. All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.